Hey everyone, today we are going to learn how to predict products for these chemical reactions that we had learned about. Uh, the beginning of this is going to be mostly review, so I'll try to go through it quickly. So remember in combustion reactions, um, an organic compound reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Um, organic compounds contain carbon. More on that later. Um, synthesis reactions, two things combined to form one. If you want to practice balancing, what number should go here? That's right, two. Decomposition, a compound breaks down into simpler substances. So what numbers do you think go here and here? Two and two, two oxygens, and then four hydrogens total on both sides. In single de de displacement, we get an element displacing another element in a compound. So what bromine's doing here is it's replacing the chlorine. It's basically kicking it out. Okay, so we're left with um, NaBr, and then chlorine gets kicked out. In double displacement, um, they exchange ions here, so potassium and sodium switch places, and now they've got different ions. So potassium is now bonded with bromine, sodium is bonded with iodine. This one's already balanced, so we don't have to go through that. All right, so when we predict products, uh, one thing to remember are the seven diatomic molecules. And so one way to remember it is that on the right side here, they form a number seven. And of course, hydrogen is also included. So don't forget about hydrogen. Um, so it's mostly halogens, but basically this is important because you should never write these chemicals by themselves. So the air we breathe in is actually O2 oxygen. Our atmosphere is made of mostly nitrogen, which is N2, okay? All right, so to predict products here, we have to, I'm gonna give you a few pointers. So for combustion, uh, the products are really easy. It's always carbon dioxide and water. So if we're trying to predict the products for the combustion of methane here, what are the products going to be? What do you think? Yeah, it's carbon dioxide and water, always. So if you see something carbon and oxygen on the left side, most likely you're going to end up with carbon dioxide and water as products. Um, to balance this, you want to balance the carbons first, which are balanced. Uh, what number should go here? What do you think? Well, since we've got four on the left side, four hydrogens, I'm going to put a two here. That'll give me four hydrogens on the right side. Uh, and then I want to balance the oxygens next. I've got four on the right side, so I'm going to put a two here as well. And that's how you balance this equation. That's the combustion of methane. We've seen this one in class. Okay, synthesis reactions. Um, here, remember, they only have one product. This should be an arrow, sorry about that. So here, we simply combine these two elements together, and that's how you predict the product. You just combine the two reactants together, and usually that's gonna work out. Okay, so two reactants, and we form one product. Decomposition is kind of like the opposite of that, where we start with one, um, and we end up with two products. So zinc, so zinc oxide is gonna break down here. Uh, what do you think the two products are? So it's actually zinc and O2. Remember oxygen doesn't like to be by itself. So zinc and O2. Now we want to balance it. We've got two oxygens on the right side, so I'm going to put two here and a two in front of the zinc as well. Okay, so in decomposition, you're just breaking it apart, basically pulling these elements um, apart, right? We're splitting them up. In single displacement, uh, element displaces uh, another element in the compound. So here, same thing. We're going to see that. Sorry about these arrows not showing up. Um, and so here the bromine is going to displace the potassium 
sorry, the iodine. And so remember, when the iodine gets kicked out, this is going to be KBr, um, we have to put a 2 here, because iodine doesn't like to exist by itself. It's one of those seven diatomic molecules. And then we want to balance this, so we're going to put a 2 here and a 2 here. Okay, so just be careful with that. Remember your seven diatomic molecules. And there should be an arrow there. Sorry about that. In double displacement, they're switching ions. So here the sodium is switching with the potassium. Um, so how about you go ahead and predict these products? What do you think? Okay, if you said NABR and KCL, you are correct. Okay, so review this lecture and notes uh, to help you predict products. Um, and as always,